Alright, back again Luke here. And as you can see in front of you, this is an IGS PGM motherboard that I'm in the process of working on here. Now, this, uh, these boards here uh, all suffer from pretty much the same problem that I've come across, and that is uh, battery leakage. And what happens is, uh, when the battery starts to leak, it, uh, it takes all the traces with it. And you can see here, I've actually gone around and tinned up some of these traces, all of these traces in here, and uh, these traces along here, trying to uh, patch things up. I actually had to run a bit of a jumper wire, and it's probably hard to see. But there is a jumper wire up here on this small thin trace. You can kind of see it. It's not exactly perfect or straight, but it uh, it is connected there. And uh, I had to remove all of these resistor packs here in order to get underneath it because the battery had leaked so bad that it was underneath those. So. I, uh, I removed each one of those, desoldered them, had to scrape away the traces, and uh, put a little bit of flux on there, and then go over them with a little bit of solder again, and try and clean them up. But you can see it's gotten down here as well. This board would not fire on at all. Um, it was just dead. Uh, anytime you'd turn it on, it would just could, the screen would just flash, and that's it. But uh, you can see on the back here, here's some more... Uh, soldering that I've done to try and fix these traces up here. You can see how badly eaten away they were. Um, there's still a, a trace right there that I need to finish uh, putting a little bit of flux on, but I had to yeah, desolder all of these. I have to go back over these chips here a little bit, but yeah, this thing was in some really rough shape. So um, the first thing to do when you go and uh, remove battery acid is you have to neutralize the stuff. And the only way to do that is by using a different kind of acid, which is something like uh, lemon juice, like fresh squeezed lemon juice, or you can use uh, white vinegar. And what I did here is uh, I actually used some vinegar and uh, I put it on the end of the cotton swab and you probably can't see it so well. Yeah, this is probably the only one that I used right here, but put some vinegar on the cotton swab and then went all the way around the board here, went through all the traces, cleaned them all up. Then after that, I used a little bit of baking soda to try and soak up what was left of it. And uh, yeah, that neutralizes the acid to help stop it from spreading around the rest of the board. But uh, then after that, I had to use some uh, sandpaper to try and uh, sand down the traces. Now when you do uh, any kind of trace sanding, uh, it's a really important thing. One important thing is to make sure that you don't use too harsh of grit of sandpaper because if you do, you'll wind up eating through the traces and scratching the traces right off. So you want to use a really fine uh, grit sandpaper. For example, here's a... This one's pretty fine. It's not super, super fine. It could be much more finer. But uh, this is a good example of something that you could use versus... Uh, I don't think I have anything super coarse around here. Um, well, maybe I do. Let's see. Like uh, this, I don't know if you can see that. That's a bit more coarse, and this is something you don't want to use because uh, that will actually eat through the trace. But... Um, when you go and you get this all neutralized, you get all of the, uh, the acid off of it. Uh, you just want to go over the, the section that you want to remove the uh, green protective coating here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this through the camera or not. Yeah, it doesn't look like this is going to come off so easily. All right, so you can see there, um, I've exposed the copper. Now the next thing you want to do is uh, get a little bit of flux, and uh, you can use a Q-tip if you want to. You can just pour a little bit on a Q-tip. I'm just using one hand here, so let's uh, pour a little dab of that on there, and just kind of go over this area, kind of make it wet. Actually, maybe that's not enough. Yeah, let's try this again. And a little bit of that, go over the area that we want, there we go, that's a little bit better, so you can see there's a little bit of flux on there. And the nice thing about uh, the soldering pen is uh, if you do put a little bit of solder on the end of it, uh, let's see here if I can find a bit, alright, so here's a little bit of solder, so just uh, try and go through the camera here, put a little bit of solder on there, okay it's got a little bit of solder on the tip, and then 
Bam. You can see it's sticking right to it. And without the flux, it won't stick to it, so you gotta have that flux on there. And then, uh, you know, that's how you can go over these traces. Now, some people will say, oh, but you'll bridge the traces, and oh, it's dangerous, and blah, 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 and yeah, whatever. Um, it's not it's not dangerous, it's not bad, as long as you make sure that there's nothing touching. Um, you know, you can go over these things millions of times here, and just, you know, just make sure that when you get done with it, look at it, and make sure that none of the traces are touching each other, and you should be all set. So, we'll go over this a little bit more. Polish that up. You can see that's come out a lot nicer. There's that. But uh, this is one way of uh, repairing these traces. And this is something that I had to do here for the uh, for the whole system. I had to remove all of these, like I said, these resistor packs here and, uh, and go up underneath them because all the traces were eaten away on it. And yeah. This one here. You can see how it's not it's not sticking right there. All I'm doing is kind of lightly scraping away what's left of the uh, protective coating that was on there from the acid. But if I put a bit of flux on there and give it another shot, you can see how that sticks right down there. Focus, focus, focus. I don't think it's going to focus there. But uh, yeah, you can kind of see down there how it's uh, it's stuck. There it goes. The flux is stuck down there. So yeah, I'm in the process of uh, trying to restore this thing here, and I think it's pretty pretty much ready to go. I don't think I have to do very much else with it. Um, one other thing here, when you do go over the stuff with flux, uh, make sure that you clean it off. This is the dry end of the Q-tip. You know, go over everything and make sure there's no flux residue on there whatsoever, because. Uh, in a lot of the cases, the flux is uh, actually conductive, and uh, that can cause some really unwanted results. Um, if you have flux residue on here, you don't go over the points and clean them off after you use the flux. Uh, sometimes it won't work. You, you'll just have the same problem and go, what did I do wrong? You know, Make sure that you use some rubbing alcohol, or you go over it uh, and definitely clean it up here. Make it nice and sparkly before you, uh, before you plug it in. And over here again, we'll uh, hit this up with a little bit of flux. And get our soldering pin here. That might not be enough, I don't know. No, that seems to be all right. There we go. You can see that's tinned up really nicely. Just think of it as like a painting. It's kind of what it's uh looks like. You're just painting some traces here. Kind of thin that out and get that down there. Make it look a little, little bit better, a little bit rounded. And yeah, that should be uh, should be good enough here for the setup. Like I said, it was just uh, clicking. And uh, I just kind of dove into it and started removing stuff here and doing some uh, yeah, doing some of this tinning here. You can see here there was a gouge that went across uh, these traces here. So same thing, I went and uh, sanded the patch away and uh, went over the traces. And that should be all good there. Um, I'm pretty confident that this should uh, do something here now that all the traces are tinned up. But, uh, well, since we're, yeah, since we're here, we might as well give it a shot. So you can show you guys what's going on. Got lots and lots of projects going on, like usual. But it's fun. It's fun that way. Get the lid here. Alright, that's probably not going to be... There we go, that's kind of snapped in there. Alright. Let's see here. Alright, well, let's put this down here for now. And put the old tripod up for a second. And yeah. Let's uh let's try and grab a game. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo.
Let's try this one. I still got to put the legs on this because it didn't have any legs on it. So, got that all hooked up. Alright, so let's, uh, let's flip it on here. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this thing should be alright. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's see if it, uh, if it starts the game up here. Obviously, there's no battery in there, so... Okay, that's looking so far so good. Let's try and turn the volume up. I'll see if that works. Okay. Sometimes, too, well, it sounds like the, the sounds are there as well. Sometimes, uh, with these PGM IGS boards, the uh, sound effects will be gone, too. And, I mean, those leaking batteries will really just kill this system. It's a, it's a huge shame to see these things get uh, tore up like this, but... Yeah, this is just uh, Knights of Valor, the first one. So let's, uh, let's put in some coins here. All right. Well, that's working out all right. Let's see. Player one. That's good. Player two. Okay, that's good. Let's see. A button. Okay, good. A button there, good. We'll just kind of run through these things and see what it does. Right, let's jump through that. Check all the buttons here. So, second player. Huh. Second player doesn't want to be. Uh, doesn't seem to be going up and down. Neither does the first player. Hmm. Okay. Well, we got. Uh, we got punch going on here. We've got jump going on. Uh, let's see. This is the main weapon. Okay, that's working. Let's try this one here. Alright, that's working. Left and right are working, but up and down on both controllers. So if I got this held down here, characters aren't doing anything. Uh, okay, well, let's turn this off here again. and see what's going on. Hmm. It could be these traces not being correct or something else. I'm not sure. Let's uh let's try and reseat this and see what goes on. Seating it does anything that probably shouldn't have too much of an effect on it, but uh, if not, we'll see what goes on here. Nice. Maybe it's a uh, maybe it's the connector there, or maybe it's a bad connection on the inside. I'll clean up the cart slots and uh, give it a shot. But uh, so. yeah, let's see here. 
it's kind of weird that uh, it would do that this time. Hmm. Just out of curiosity, let's try and turn this thing off one more time, and then we'll turn it on again and see if it uh, repeats the same issue. If not, it's uh, it might just be a dirty contact point here. But uh, yeah, hopefully this video isn't too boring for you guys. Huh, that's interesting. That's not working. Huh. Hmm. Some weird stuff going on with this. Seems to be pretty random. The date was kind of missing in there. I don't know, maybe I'll put another video on this one here and see what's going on with it. Well, that's working, so just the, uh, the date's not working. I'll go back over those traces again and uh, we'll see what we can do here, so stay tuned, maybe a second video coming. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, I went into the test menu and it looks like uh, there's still a couple of bad traces on this thing because uh, down and up and start here on player 3 are kind of going spastic. So I'm going to see what I can do here about patching this because uh, player 3 isn't even hooked up. So we'll see if we can correct this problem here. Probably going to be one of those uh, traces that uh, is, yeah kind of hidden and not connected up there or it's grounding out so we'll see what we can do see if we can get this thing to uh, stop doing that because uh, everything else here is down up down up oh, this thing's <laughs> yeah it's kind of flashing on and off here but uh, yeah up left right down this is working fine um, player two is working fine but I think when it starts up and it's actually engaged um, with player 3 having the start up and down all at the same time I think it throws off the other controls so we'll try and get uh, another shot here and see what we can do with this board so give this another try okay so uh, I got this thing to where uh, none of these are lit up on the third player again what I did is I went over a couple of the resistor packs on the bottom here that uh, I didn't go over and actually I didn't remove uh, two of the ones up here in the front these two front row ones I didn't remove uh, I only removed the back ones here so I could get at the traces but by uh, going back over these front ones here they must have had a little bit of corrosion on them and dulled out the uh, contacts but those are actually yeah working now so this one here we got down up left right and then uh, A B C D it's all working here this one up down left right A B C D so that's all working good and uh, yeah the third player one's not lit up four is not lit up so let's uh let's turn this thing off again and turn it back on and see what it does see if it's got a uh, all of its working components now flip that back over and turn this thing on here and see what we got put in a couple of coins too to check it but you gotta love all of the uh, the acid and stuff on uh, on boards. It really does mess it up. Alrighty, let's see here. Alright. See if we got her up down from the get go from the beginning here. There we go. So that's all moving around. First player all moving around there, and that's good. Can move around. Let's uh, let's try this one more time. Since uh, last time there seemed to be a fluke in it, let's uh, let's hit this and let's uh, let's double check it. We'll go into the hardware test and make sure everything's working again. Just for one final check here. Hit this. All right, check this out, IO test, yep, well that seems to be 
Down, left, right, up. Good. A, B, C, D. Nice. And A, B, C, D. Okay. That seems to be pretty good. So, everything should be ready to go. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. A and B buttons. Can't do it with one hand. <laughs> That's not resetting. Oh, there we go. Alright. Well, yeah, looks like, uh, looks like this one's all ready to go. It looks like it's up and running again. And, uh, yeah, just wanted to share this with you guys here, but, uh, it's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so, thanks for watching.